in bobsleigh, there is three elements you need. You need the fastest start, you need equipment, and you need a good drive. We've got two of them, and let's see what the start does. You will get rattled around. 50 minutes in a bobsleigh is like having a fight for five minutes with someone. The reason we're here is to do the 30 metre indoor sprint test. It's where we test all our athletes for the first time to see how fast they are. Didn't do any sport apart from the odd game of football at university. They say that the average man can do 4.2 seconds. And then uh, tore my knee, so really it's a long time since I did any running. But you know, what's the average man? I don't know what an average man is. The idea is, as the sled goes down the hill, you're adding value to it. Lee's a big, strong guy, but he'll be getting in first because he's a driver. If he doesn't get in, we're in a world of If you sit down first, you the whole load. The sled can be upside down, by the way. But as long as all four of you cross the line, then that time counts. It's almost overwhelming the amount of information you need to try and take in. There's a chance if you don't memorise it all properly, things could go badly wrong. I think we're all going to get in, that's the main thing, and then Lee can work his magic, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be in the top 10-ish. Definitely more nervous now that I'm actually here. And, uh, you know, I've, I've watched a bit of bobsleigh and luge and stuff on, on TV, um, and it's always looked slower on TV than it does when now that we see people hurtling past. I'm scared. <laughs> Got 14 bends. We'll be travelling at about 80 miles an hour at the bottom should I keep off the walls. And you'll be pulling three to five Gs in corners. Boom. It'll hit you and you'll go around there going and then it'll ease off. It's like you've just sat four times your body weight on your head and then it jumps off again. All good fun. We are second down uh, behind GB1. Six best in the world, uh, and we're following them down. To be competing for in the British Championships, it's uh, amazing, really, unbelievable. And this is it. The guys have obviously done their training, but this is where it's all going to happen. This is the real deal. Intense is the, probably the best word to, uh, to describe it. What an incredible experience this has been. To have won a bronze medal, finishing behind the Great British Olympic team and the RAF. I mean, it's as ridiculous as it is extraordinary and I'm actually really, really proud of it. Beyond wildest dreams. Fantastic. That said, if somebody asked me to go in a bobsleigh tomorrow, I would probably say no. 